All right, heaves, slurps, groans, moans, what do they all have in common? Yeah. Sounds. They're gross. Sounds. <laughs> gross sounds. No, honey. And without context. These are the slurp. sounds of love making. Okay, oh. but you could be eating and making slurping sounds. But if you're eating something else, making a slurping sound. Okay. See, That's this is kinda... how I get my beard like his. You know what I mean? Let's talk about double penetration, baby. So, as you know, or as I hope you know, I have a daily show on Quibi called Sexology with Shambu Dram. Every single day, we tackle a different topic relating to sex, love, and relationships. And this particular topic is all about double penetration, which was a very fascinating and eye-opening conversation for me. So I wanted to share the full episode here with you and also to hopefully entice you to want to watch over 100 other episodes that we already have up on the Quibi platform. Watch to the end to learn how you can download Quibi, get a free trial, and access to over 100 episodes just like the one you're about to watch right now. So if you have ever browsed porn before, I'm sure that you've come across the double penetration category. Yes. Absolutely. There's a lot of different variations when it comes to DP. Mao, what variations have you heard of? A dick in the butt and one in the vagina. The classic, I guess, right? Classic. Yeah. <laughs> Would mouth also count as double penetration? So here's the fun thing, Mars. Mm -hmm. You actually get to define what double penetration is. Okay. It's not limited to the number of partners. It's really about the number of orifices that are being filled up. Right. So everybody technically, I'm sure, has done double penetration at some time or another. Maybe if you have a tampon in and you make out with somebody, that <laughs> might count. A <laughs> little bit less sexy, but still it. counts. Still qualifies <laughs> underneath it. But yes, the traditional way that most people think about it is when a cis woman is having sex both vaginally and anally, and that's the one that's most popular in porn. Now, Arkel, you're nodding at it right uh, now. Yes. Do you have any experiences <laughs> in the land of DP? I ended up meeting this guy, and he ended up having his friend who was also there, which was definitely a surprise, but he said that he wanted to try double penetration. The friend was in halfway, I was maybe tipping, and it ended up getting to the point to where I ended up catching a cramp, so I ended up calling quits, <laughs> but we ended up trying it, so. Technically, you're part of the DP club. Proudly. I wish I had a sticker for you. <laughs> Achievement <laughs> unlocked. <laughs> I remember having a sex talk with my dad and my sister when we were younger, mm -hmm. and my sister was like, if you wanted to fit two penises in a vagina, how would that work? <laughs> I was like, of all questions to come up with, the answer to this was essentially, it's about first getting the penetrative objects together, right. and then finding a comfortable place for the person being penetrated to go. Now, what you have here is a beautiful kit for DPing. Pillows. Pillows are your friend. <laughs> right. Because you can get a leg cramp, or your mm. elbow can hurt, or the person who's penetrating, they might get tired. So having additional tools for comfort can make a really big difference. Okay. All right, Shayla, have you been curious about double penetration? Yes, I want more dicks. Okay. <laughs> the more the merrier, you know? I want to get to a place where I'm able to take one in my vajayjay and my booty at the same time, because right now I'm just like at the toy phase. We started off with butt plugs and like growing inside and you know, I've been able to try anal sex successfully, so that was good, but having both holes simulated at once along with other things, it was amazing. What makes it multi-orgasmic in many ways is that you're putting pressure on all of the nerve endings at once. And so anally, you can actually receive pleasure from the vagina, but when you have pressure in both areas at once, it's double simulation on both sides of the nerve endings. Really, really important if you are using toys that mm -hmm. are anus toys, that you're using something with a flared base. Because that way, if you get caught up in the moment, you're doing other things, you don't have a dildo or a toy meant for vaginal penetration that ends up getting lost in the sauce. Right. Because mm -hmm. that's a trip to the doctor's <laughs> office. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> Mars, I know you have some apprehension about booty play. I have much apprehension about the booty play. And I think it's a combination of stuff that I've seen in pop culture, stories that I've heard from friends where things get a little nasty. How do you even, like, prepare your butt. The booty is Poop's home, right? Yes. So if you're going to Poop's home, maybe it won't be home that day, but it also might. Mm -hmm. So you do have to reconcile with the fact that shit could happen <laughs> and that has to be a part of the experience. It's not really a big deal. Right. I think in many ways it makes sex better because those little awkward moments make us feel more connected to somebody. Mm -hmm. But there are things you could do to prepare to ensure there's less chances of poop being home that day. Right. So you could do an enema, changing even to a fiber diet a couple days before, 
making sure you're drinking lots of water. I've heard suggestions of only eating lettuce the day of. So <laughs> there's definitely things you could do to prepare to make yourself feel more confident in the moment. But mm -hmm. the booty's going to do what the booty's going to do. Give me that shit. Give me that <laughs> shit. <laughs> All right, so now you've been pretty quiet. What's holding you back from trying DP? I have the worry of, like, your balls rubbing together. <laughs> <laughs> but as you were talking about, it's like you're kind of lost in the pleasure of it. Mm -hmm. So how do you really get around that? Well, I think it's a very big part of DP if you're going to be having it as two men and a cis woman that you do have comfortability being naked around other men mm -hmm. and having your body touching other men. Those are really important questions to ask yourself. What is my comfort level and how do I tap mm -hmm. out when I don't feel comfortable? What's really important with the DP when it comes to safety is one, designating roles, mm -hmm. especially roles when it comes to who's doing what. Like if somebody is putting stuff in the butt, that's their job. You don't go from butt to mouth or from butt to mm -hmm. vagina, right? Mm -hmm. They're the booty person, right? And the receiver <laughs> as well, too. That's their designated role in the system. Mm -hmm. Safe words are also really, really important. And not just safe words, but safe actions. Because if you're having DP done where you're getting something in the mouth and something somewhere else, it's not easy to yell out, <laughs> <laughs> and for it to be clear. So you may yeah. want to have a tap twice means slow down, tap three times means stop altogether. So these conversations can't be avoided because there are additional people comfort and safety to have involved. So hopefully your DP experiences going forward are exciting or not at all. It's up to you. <laughs> uh, but this is a great chat. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching Sexology. We'll see you next time. <laughs> So here's what you're going to do. If you loved that episode and want to watch more just like it, go to your app store right now, download Quibi, get a free trial, search up Sexology with Shampoo Dram, and then you're going to see, like I said, over 100 episodes all based on different topics relating to sex, love, relationships, and dating. If you enjoy my content, you are going to love what you watch here, and I would love to have you over there. And plus, like I said, it's a free trial, so there really is no risk involved. Once again, go to your app store, download Quibi, get a free trial, and start binging Sexology with Sham Boudram. I am still filming right now, so new episodes are coming out every single day. Well, Monday through Friday. <laughs> what was your first prostate experience? Just a cucumber and a, a prayer. Uh -huh.